When we are born, our body is hardwired to protect our health and to resist disease. We have all the tools we need to live our entire life illness free, okay? And these are our health defense systems, which medicines try to resurrect and to help along and foods can activate them as well. Did you know that the body can actually heal itself from diseases? It is startling to know for sure, but this is the truth. Since the body is capable of healing itself, produced medications only aim to tilt the scales further in that direction. Dr. William Lin talks at length about his research on medicine, and in the course of that he realized that the biggest opportunity we have is to prevent disease in the first place. If you're going to talk about prevention, you really can't talk about pharmaceuticals or drugs. Instead, you have to talk about something safer, more approachable, less expensive, and that most people don't kind of dread. Food is something that is readily available and simple to incorporate into your daily life. The main issue with food and health is that, when it comes to scientific data, there doesn't seem to have been as much research done on it as there is for medications. There is a whole new universe out there, one in which all these natural sources of health stimulants and and activators are concealed from view yet have the potential to do enormous good for us by averting illness in the first place. You must be aware of the kinds of foods that can fend off illnesses. It is important to recognize the true source of sickness, where it truly originates, and how to prevent it. The first one may seem difficult because, well, it has been around for a pretty long time, hasn't it? Our bodies are designed from birth to guard against illness and preserve our health, so we have all the resources we need to live a long, healthy life. These are our immune systems, which medications attempt to support and strengthen, as well as foods that can activate them. It is extremely difficult to operationally take action based solely on the absence of another factor, which is why health needs to be more than just the absence of illness or disease. Thinking about health in this way will force you to reevaluate your situation and consider all available scientific evidence, which will help you realize that health is more than just the absence of disease. Rather, it is the outcome of our body's health defense mechanisms working tirelessly for us from the the moment of our birth until the moment of our death. Five health defenses exist. We are born with our gut microbiome, circulation, angiogenesis, and stem cells. It's this entire ecosystem. Dr. William Lin uses the Great Barrier Reef as an example of this complex ecosystem, which is beautiful in and of itself, but which, when disturbed, can have terrible consequences for the environment of the gut, including leakage of brain tissue, metabolism, and healing. For this reason, gut health is crucial. DNA is much more than just a genetic code, and our immune system is a powerful shield for our health. In terms of disease, however, since you asked, how does it arise? I would say that it can originate from within the body, where an invader or malfunction can cause it, or it can originate from outside the body, where a virus or bacteria can easily get to us. Still, when our health defenses are functioning at their best, imagine that our bodies are like complicated cars, where all we have to do is open the door, sit down, and put push the start button. Because of this, focusing on our body's health defense systems is one of the most important things we can do throughout our lives. Having natural immunity to certain diseases is far superior than having actual medications. Now, here's the interesting thing. Although you use the word immunity, which is appropriate, our immune system is a health defense system. If you have a problem with your rotor, clutch, spark plugs, or any other aspect of your body, you can imagine that all attention will suddenly be focused on the problem because you won't be able to run very well. How can we prevent cancer? How can we prevent heart disease? How can we avoid diabetes since, in a literal sense, fat would protect us against some of these most dreaded illnesses? Diabetes, cancer, dementia, heart disease, I guess. Stroke many individuals wish to live to a ripe old age, but when you consider chronology, you know what would happen. Time is not the only thing. Quality and time are where the money is. We want to live long and flourish. We don't want to merely suffer for a long time. I believe that this is another way to truly think about immunity. These days, it seems like an increasing number of individuals are becoming ill with what you would term diseases like cancer. Alzheimer's illness, heart disease, and obesity are all these illnesses, and I suppose other ones as well. Do you think that as our population grows and ages, we are dealing with more and more issues related to aging globally? As our cells age and our defenses against disease begin to weaken, it is our responsibility to take action to strengthen them. As a result, there is an increased burden of chronic illnesses like cancer, cardiac conditions, respiratory conditions, fat diabetes-related dementia. In addition, 
more people are living longer, so at the same time, we have increased, let's say, awareness and empowerment to do something about it so more of us may live longer. Our health defenses keep us healthy at all times, but as we age, we accumulate insults and injuries to them. As a result, as we age, our defenses wear down a little bit more and the damage can accumulate. For this reason, Dr. William Lin delves deeply into the topic of how to eat foods that support and strengthen our health defenses, so that as we age, we are enabling our own body system to attempt to fight off illness. Instead of reacting to something you might fear, you have the opportunity to take proactive steps to support your health as you age and lessen your focus on the threat of disease. This is a way for you to sort of counteract all the things that have accumulated over your life that could weaken your defenses against illness. The easiest things we can do are take care of our body's defenses, avoid things that harm it, and consume more foods that are genuinely good for it. Which foods should we avoid eating in order to prevent diseases from having an even greater negative influence on our health? What do we put into our bodies to strengthen our defenses? Well, generally speaking, the good news is that over 200 foods support your health defenses, making it a joyful and pleasurable act to be able to eat foods you enjoy that also happen to be health-promoting. Our bodies require sugar. In fact, the most sugar-loving organ in our bodies is the brain. Since everyone wants a healthy brain, our bodies require a lot of sugar, and foods can supply it. In addition to candies and cakes, fruits and vegetables also frequently contain sugar, making natural sugars for the most part. It's acceptable for most people to consume sugars found in whole foods. However, there are added sugars, such as 10 teaspoons of refined sugar added to a can of soda, that can weaken your stem cells, lower your immunity, and destroy your microbiome. They were able to calculate how much dietary fiber patients needed to eat while receiving treatment in order to actually improve their chances of responding. And they discovered that 5 grams of dietary fiber per day lowered the risk of cancer progression, growth, or mortality by 30%. People with ruminococcus also consume a lot of dietary fiber, which feeds your gut microbiome, one of your health defenses that talks to your immune system and wipes out cancer all right now. Talky out the foods that helps a person heal in a better manner. Ditter William Lin says, shellfish of all kinds actually contain omega-3 fatty acids, which is a good fact. Olive oil is also an incredibly healthy oil that has numerous health benefits, and our herbs and spices are also good. In my opinion, if you base your diet on these items and make that, say, 85 or 90 percent of what you would normally eat, then if you eat a few treats that are outside of that range, your body will be just fine. It is resilient. When you eat spinach and chew it, the microbiome on your tongue interacts with the nitrogen from the soil and transforms it into a form that is absorbed in your stomach as nitric oxide. This makes spinach an excellent source of nitrogen because it grows low to the soil. Nitric oxide asks for stem cells to rebuild your body as part of your health defense system and dilates blood vessels to reduce blood pressure, which prevents stroke. If you take some extra virgin olive oil, Oil, that is, a Spanish olive oil made with pickled olives that is very high in polyphenols, and sod it with a little bit of garlic. Then you should drop the spinach in before the garlic turns brown so as not to burn it. The spinach will cook down in a matter of seconds, like in a minute if you keep turning it, it will just wilt down. Then take some toasted pine nuts and toss them in. These are tree nuts that are rich in dietary fiber and healthy nut fats. It either lowers your chance of developing cancer or has the ability to treat it. For everybody who wants hope for whatever it is, science is kind of hanging just around the corner. As a result, scientists pursue it because it consistently holds promise beyond what we now have. In fact, this is what drives us. But in reality, just eating healthy and consciously can ward off life-threatening diseases from our lives.